All right, hello everybody. We are back and we are still playing some Russian Front. Uh, it's been a while. I've been doing a couple days here and there, so I thought I'd give you an update while I can because update time is uh, hard to come by. It's easy to play the game, but hard to get a, some time to video with the house being quiet and everything like that. So uh, I'll give you a little update here. It is the... Uh, Oh, October phase of the Russian side. After this uh, turn here, we'll be going to uh, victory conditions in November. But uh, I wanted to give you a quick update on his uh, reinforcements. There are his reinforcements for uh, October, and he was able to bring on all of his units that were delayed for me holding on to Moscow. Now, all his units that are moved will be turned to a certain side and uh, we do have battles also there's a offensives going on for the Russian player so uh, we'll show you that right now down here in Romania he's making a little bit of moves nothing for the capital yet and I have my air unit back that helps uh, from the last uh, one of my last phases you can see uh, he moved some other units on through from last time and I don't know what these guys are here Oh, he's got a couple of parachute units. Paratroopers. Could be heading for a paradrop. We shall see. Okay, up here he does have some uh, offensive operations going on. As you can see that, those hexes are still marked out for uh, out of supply for me. So uh, he pulled his units out of Warsaw. I guess he, instead of holding on to the city, he figured it would be more valuable to save them. So he pulled them back and I got a few battles going on there. But that's what's going on with the... Uh, his movements, like I said, all the units that moved this turn are turned uh, sideways. And uh, here you go, you can see things are starting to get a little thick down here. They're mostly those infantry units. He's got those infantry armies. They're pretty big units, but uh, as far as strength goes, I don't see much. Now, what else has he got going? Oh, he's got some cavalry. Cavalry, and he's making a move with more cavalry. So, uh,. You see what the disposition of his forces are here also taking spots in the cities now i haven't updated my vlog to include oh <laughs> i forgot it oh forgot our all important he moved his uh, unit from up here in the woods down here and captured the city he captured vitabisk now, i don't know how long he's going to have it or what but that just pretty well renders all these units here out of supply. So excellent move by my opponent. Uh, yet the vlog is northern movements. But I just wanted to give you updates. Uh, I don't know how long this will last. But uh, it was a great move. He just cut off all my units on supply. I'll have to look and see how the supply is going to go. Uh, I think the rail unit stopped here. So if I can get a connection. Uh, still it's, it's sporadic through here too. So that's what's going on. We got some time here. Uh, it is the holiday. Uh, Memorial Weekend, my thanks to all the servicemen that served and kept this country free so we ain't got to worry about this stuff in real life. Thank God. Be back for Russian Front. Just a game. Okay, more on that update on the Russian Front. On that capture of Vitebisk, uh, this man is definitely uh, in supply. All the way down here hasn't been converted yet. The hex he's on is converted. He didn't have enough movement points to convert, so he just got down there and blocked off my little supply route. Now I'll see what kind of hex movements I can get to here. There's one, two, three, four, five. This guy's barely out, but now yeah, these units here are gonna have to we're gonna have to do some movements. Now he's got his uh attacks coming up and his uh exploitation phases. But I don't see any attacks around here. At least yet I'm gonna have to go through the vlogs again and see anything, but uh, I think these are his moves. It's all defensive here. I'm sensing a little bit of a push up this way. I don't know. Yeah, you can see where my holes are. You can see the whole front, actually. There's a little look at the bottleneck. He came down here. He's pushing up here, trying to trap all my forces around out there. It's a real strategic move. Totally uh, what he needed to do. And uh, we're going to have to counteract it. But uh, no real attacks. Just moving and being a pain in the butt there. Trying to keep everything going on over here. A little bit down here now his moves are done 
So I'm gonna mark the uh, went ahead and mark the battles. This is only ground movement yet. He's yet to uh, we've yet to have naval or air movement, but so far he's got some attacks going on there. And uh, unfortunately, I think he's already removed the mines here. I already looked at my counters. There's no minefield, so he wants to move that naval fleet in there to help out that attack. Uh, trouble could be brewing already before the first winter, and we'll be back. All right, hello everybody. It has been a while. It has been a stormy while. I don't know about you, wherever you're at, but uh, we been watching on TV. Everybody else is getting the damage. It finally hit me. We were out of power one night. It wouldn't, have, wouldn't you know it? It was the first night of the playoffs for the hockey, <laughs> so I couldn't watch it. And here we are for the. I think it's the third game tonight. And uh, last I looked, they were losing pretty bad. So it wasn't ain't a good time. But uh, having fun down here and doing some wrestling front. So I wanted to give you an update. Uh, we are at the. A little bit of light on the subject here, and we are at the. Uh, Air movement, step combat. We're all the way down here at the end of the return and transfer. We move out of supply segment. Well, I just got done, uh, or my opponent just got done sending me his V-log for some of his supply units. And they uh, we're using the optional rule for supply where you roll a die and uh, apply modifiers and take away hits. And he rolled a six with no modifiers. So uh, both his units were eliminated. So like I said, uh, supply hasn't been too kind to either of us when it comes on those die rolls. But uh, here's the situation down south. Like I said, all his attacks are done. Uh, it looks like he's getting ready to surround. Old, uh, I guess that's Budapest. I'm not really sure. It's, looking, it's been a while. Yeah, old Bucharest. So, uh, getting kind of precarious there. I got an air unit there that might save me, but. There's this big attack unit. So now it's one thing you want to do is use these the units with these uh, big numbers. The rest of them are chump changers. Don't do nothing. Uh, maybe a little bit good on defense, but uh, use these big ones with some air and you should be set. They don't have no artillery in this game. But uh, you can see I moved back into supply. He pretty well just kicked me out of Romania into Hungary. And here he's got some more stuff going on. It looks like paratroopers heading towards a air base for an airdrop we'll keep an eye on that but uh there you go now here's where his units were i think his units were right here they didn't make the breakout or whatever was trying to go along here to get him back in supply didn't happen so he rolled a six on these units and they had to take uh six hits and both of their unit defenses were threes so uh both of them were eliminated so that was a tough break on his uh supply but that is a result after uh the russian turn you can see his little line being drawn there i'm pretty sure the situation's under control i'm not really worried about him threatening my supply there but uh he still has that pesky unit right there i'm going to deal with in my turn and we're going to be moving the counter from october to november checking out uh victory conditions here's the situation up north now he did kick me out here and he did eliminate my nice fat unit so uh the soviet push or russian push in the finland has begun like I said, I don't get much uh, reinforcements. There's my units all out there stranded out of supply. We'll see how I uh, take care of that situation. But there's his uh, positioned air units. There's other push through the marshes. I'm trying to do the old link up. <laughs> so we'll be back with some more Russian front. Going to play it a little bit tonight. Be right back. All right, welcome back everybody to my little playthrough of Russian Front. And it has been a while since I have uh, been able to even approach the game board. But thankfully, uh, I haven't lost contact with my opponent. Uh, he thought maybe he lost contact with me. But uh, he's still into it. Now we're ready to play. As a matter of fact, we've gotten to the, uh, you can see here, uh, end of November or beginning of November which means uh, it is a, uh, a victory condition phase and uh, that's one thing that I got an email from my opponent and he said he wanted to know if I wanted to stop the game <coughs> excuse me after this uh, victory condition since he wasn't hearing much back from me but I told him no I'm still ready to play it's just a matter of getting moves in so it might get a little slow 
but uh, he's all in, and I'm all in, and we're ready to see how it goes. Uh, I want to update you. Uh, we just got done with the Soviet phases and the turn record phase, which is now November, and we are at the victory level phase. And let me show you what goes on with that. All right, for the victory level, let me see here. Oh, underneath the rules, it just tells you things that you have to do, but these are the things you really got to count. Is uh, I need to count my fortress cities, my major cities, and my oil field hexes. And uh, currently controlled by the access player. Add a number of replacement numbers in replacement cities and access control. And a number of factory units in the F box in the current victory level chart. So let's go back here to the, to the board. And you can see that uh, that factory that's eliminated. And I didn't notice I had it on the other side on the side of the board but that goes into this eliminated factory box and uh, here's my little formula that I've set up and uh, here's where we stand uh, my fortress cities that I control equals 7 my major cities equals 10 my oil fields are 0 and my replacement factory cities are 4 uh, eliminated Soviet factories are 1 uh, add that up that comes up with a 22 go over here to the victory point chart Go under uh, 22 for November, and it's an S2. We'll file that all the way over here. And uh, S2 comes down here for, how did I figure that up? Uh, S2 equals two victory points. Oh, okay, I'm with you here. Let's see this. So 22, Soviet player gets two victory points. I'll come over here to the uh, victory level when you have a two. That is a marginal victory. I thought it was decisive, but I'm seeing here it's only two, so I was wrong on that. You see here that uh, 22 points equals S2, two Soviet victory points. Uh, two Soviet victory points equals a decisive victory. That is wrong. Uh, over here in November, which is this dark one. Oh, I'm right. Yeah, it was a decisive, so. Uh, it is, so far, uh, Soviet decisive victory. So if we quit the game now, I would have lost. So it's a good thing. And you know, this is before I did the formula. So uh, even though my forces, I, I, I thought I was doing real good. Uh, according to the victory conditions, uh, it's my opponent's game right now. Um, let me see here. I do have a... Uh, Barter a piece over here on the board. I got to find out where that goes. I think he probably goes right up here because I was, yeah, I was checking out the uh, that city and its value. But uh, that's the way it is right now. Um, we're going to continue with the game, even though my opponent has uh, so far recorded a decisive victory, and uh, we'll be going on to the pre preliminary phase. But the key thing here. And I haven't yet to even look at this. And it's over here on these uh, optional rules. And uh, let me see here. Where is it? I'm looking for the... Uh, hold on. Real quick. Okay, I found it. And it will be going through the, all the rules here. We're looking specifically for 15.6, the access first winner. And I have yet to look at that. And that might have been something that I needed to look at. Now, a little comment on the before and some of my videos earlier. I told you... You know, it was nice to go on that little offensive and everything, but the key thing to do, and this is probably something you want to do in all these war games, uh, before you start playing, is find out what the victory conditions are. And that's where my faux pas came in at. I was playing the game without looking at the victory conditions and realizing that even though it looked like I was making a big advance uh, by game rules, I was losing a game. So uh, let's look over here for those Russian access first winner. And it'll be page eight and find out what that all entails. All right. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I should have looked at the. Should have looked at the. Oh, historic levels. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Access first winner. Now this will apply to me on this next turn. All access ground units except for finished mountain units located in weather zones with snow. Weather conditions from October through April turns have their attack and defense factor minus on five by minus one. Huh. Except for finishing mountain units. 
Okay, so if there's snow weather conditions in November uh, in the zones where there's snow, it'd probably be the central and north, or maybe just the north out to look and see. But an attack and defense factor is modified by minus one. Okay, now that's, it's that only during the first winter. I guess that could be the first winter. Uh, it continues. No, it doesn't. It doesn't continue up here. That's it. That's the whole rule right there. So first winter, I have my uh, attack and defense value. So that just shows the Germans didn't plan on being there during the cold months. And uh, we're definitely short on winter supplies. Okay, this might be an upload because it's been a while. I want to get you guys all up to date. But uh, here's what we're looking at. It is going to be my turn. And uh, my first winter on the Russian front. We'll be back.